in my mind, I've always been used to the Everglades and that kind of alligator. We were filming in somewhere called Silver Springs, Florida, which is quite a sort of suburban area. I'm used to crocodiles in Africa. Crocodiles in Africa are a bit wary of them because they eat wildebeest, and yet here we are, we can go reasonably close to these guys, and they were pretty chilled out. They sink into the water and their throat goes and then the water starts to dance. And you'd never seen that with your naked eye. So that was a beautiful moment and a great use of technology to show you something that you wouldn't have necessarily seen. What we really wanted to try and do was to document the alligator's reaction to such extreme weather. We were working in a situation where you literally couldn't hear each other speak. So we'd be spending the whole afternoon screaming instructions to each other, trying to remain safe, with lightning going all the way around us. There's a great shot in the opening program where you see the slow motion shot of the alligator's eye in the opening and closing. And it's those moments for me as a filmmaker when you get back and see the shot for the first time. And even now I can feel the hairs on the back of my head, the, the effort that went into Getting that shot from behind the scenes was, was a story that will live with me for a long time.